Money solves all problems. Food, clothes, a girlfriend with all holes in the table. There's nothing you can't buy. But how do you earn bread when you're young? Well, here are six ways to get rich in high school. Number one, tell others how to earn money. If you don't have money, then just pretend you do and convince others to pay for your secrets. Remember, no one is checking credentials online. If you want to be an expert in crypto, then go ahead. You see, YouTube has a metric called CPM, which is the amount of money advertisers pay for every thousand views. And you know the category with the highest CPM? That's right, how to earn money, which pays an average of 13 1552 for every thousand views. And to put that into perspective, my how to tell if your girlfriend is crazy has a CPM of 552, and I'd argue it's way more useful. The best part is that's just ad revenue. That doesn't include any books, courses, or big <coughs> pills you're selling to your desperate fan base. And the icing on the cake is the longer your fans are poor, the more likely they are to click on your video. So you're basically incentivized not to help them. So here you go, Billy. The next rising crypto is here. Number two, streamer. But with everyone and their curious uncle streaming games, how do you stand out? Well, if you're a girl, it's easy. Just push those fun bags together and wear the deepest V you can legally get away with. Then just hit up successful male creators for a collab. You see, guys are idiots and assume any woman showing them attention is flirting with them. So even if you wrote, hey, I just wanted to hop in your algo and milk money at your simp fan base, he'll read, I want the D. Then it's as simple as using their blue balls to climb your way to the top. Now, if you're a guy who wants a streaming career, then it's time to think of a gimmick. You just need something to stand out from a crowd. Like Ninja has daddy issue hair, Dr. Disrespect is a Chad, and XQC is a parasite. Feeding off the attention of children. <laughs> so try your best to think of a gimmick that makes people say, It won't let go! Number three, drone pilot. You see the world differently as a drone pilot. Like when a residential building collapses, you don't see dead bodies. Well, you do, because you're the one filming it, but you also see dollar signs, because that's some juicy clickbait content. And if the news can exploit tragedy for profit, you can too. Even if no one's paying you, just offer up the footage for free saying, I just wanted to help out any way I could, while conveniently handing out your business card. If you're unlucky and live in a terror-free zone, then you can always do real estate footage. And it's real simple to get started. All you need to do is air tag some classmates you hate in order to figure out their home address. Then mail out a chat inspired affair confession to their mom. Within weeks, you'll see their house listed on the market, and that's when you send out an email with some bogus stats of houses that feature drone footage sell four times quicker than those who don't. Then sit back as a woman barely holding it together pays you to film the life your enemies once had. Number four, exploit your animals. Your pet's free ride is over, and it's time they start earning their keep. Is putting pants on a dog torture? Of course, but it's also adorable. And if America taught me anything, it's suffering is profitable. Twerk better, you fucking idiot. Do you want to get fed or hit in the head? The choice is yours, creature who barely understands me. Number five, trans lawsuit. Having people discriminate you for being trans can be tough. But you know what make you feel better? Money. Based on my popular book, How to Turn Hate Green. You see, hate speech used to make you sad, now it turns you on. Because anytime you hear, you're not a real woman, what you really hear is, let me pay for your BMW. So it's time to start gathering evidence and secretly recording all the ignorant comments by your teachers and classmates. Sure, the resulting lawsuit might result in cutbacks affecting the education of future generations, but if capitalism taught me anything, it's money. Number six, the fans. If you're a teacher who's fed up with being underpaid, it's time to set up your fans. Now normally, the hardest part is building a clientele, but you're coming in with a built-in fan base. I mean, who gives a shit about Fortnite when Miss Sullivan's putting loot in her box? About to get sweaty. The only issue is you'll be fired if it leaks, which is why you need to plan ahead. That last month, make sure to be wearing some tight outfits. Whoops, did I drop a marker? Whoops, did I turn down the thermostat? Whoops, did I spill water on myself? Here, let me dry it off. Oh, yeah. And why stop at kids? You don't think the entire science department is going to want to see your clam? That's why you got to plan your final day to be at a school assembly. Make sure to get the maximum number of eyeballs before having a wardrobe malfunction. Whoops. Now, of course, you'll get fired, but that's not going to stop you from handing out business cards at the bus stop. Might as well plant a few more seeds that are about to get spilled. This brings you to the most crucial part of your plan, setting up your first live stream. Because every content creator knows how important the title thumbnail is, so don't make the mistake of calling it first video with a pic of you with a peace sign. No, being talentless is why you're here in the first place. What you need to do is make your thumbnail a blurry image of a generic white kid. Then title it something like, top 10 students I pork, or pork and students be like, or send me a nice dono in your home address and I'll think about it, winky face. So there you have it, all the ways to get rich in high school. If I miss any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, it's not hard to shatter an already broken household. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.